So I'm getting ready to speak and the topic today is going to be on life after motherhood. So basically, you become a mom, how do you balance taking care of yourself, your career, your family, and everything else that we have to do. So really excited to, um, you know, share my experience and talk to a lot of women about how we can be better and we can still take care of ourselves and still do the things that we want to and be amazing moms as well. So. coach and I have an online training business and I'm also the founder of the Conscious Mom Project which is a program where I teach women, moms, parents really, um, how to be more conscious when it comes to parenting. Um, a lot of times we, have, we all have traumas. I mean we are human beings. We have things that we've experienced in our lives and our childhood that have shaped us to be who we are today. However, a lot of those things can be negative. And it's important for us to be aware of what our triggers are, how we respond to certain things, our perception, is it healthy, so that we don't pass our stuff on to our children. Interesting. I was always a career-driven person. And, you know, I, I remember putting, having children off. It was like, yeah, later, later, later. Um, one of the things that I, it helped me learn was that for so long, I was actually afraid of embracing my feminine energy. And what motherhood did for me when, when, I, when I became pregnant, I just had, I was just so connected. And it really helped me to really embrace and love and learn this powerful feminine energy that we all possess. But I was putting it off and I realized that for a big part of my life, for, for whatever reason, I was viewing it as a, as a weakness. That if I embraced feminine energy, I would be weak. And I didn't want to be weak. When I became a mother, it just, I, it was just, I transformed and it just happened and I was open and I received it and I, I just took it in. And I have to say that I had, it, it's, a, it's a new type of confidence. It's real confidence. And it's a confidence that I think has made me a better person, a, a better woman. Um, when it comes to just me as a person, but also a better wife and a better in business and everything that I do. So um, confidence wise, it, it was it was just a game changer for sure. Oh my gosh, so I remember at first I was like, I'm gonna balance it this way, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm like, no way. I, 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 I really don't think that there is a set like percentage wise type of balance. I think that balance looks different for everybody depending on what you have going on. I actually, so I've competed professionally in fitness for eight years. I thought I was done. Um, I got pregnant and this little boy, I've always been my own motivation. This little boy just set a fire in me and I said, I am competing, I'm getting on stage after I have this baby and I was able to do it less than seven months postpartum. And I mean, talk about trying to figure out balance to get to the gym six times um, a week with a newborn while trying to deal with, you know, hormones and, you know, just the thoughts that we as moms know that we go through yet, unless you're a mom, you really don't understand. Um, and it was, it was hard, but you know, you have to also find time for yourself in, in all of it where you do take care of yourself and you do take time to just breathe and give yourself what you need because you can't allow the outside chaos to get in your head. You have to have and know how to center yourself and bring yourself back when you have so many things going on. As I know, you know, all of us have, are very busy. Um, but our priorities also are children. So for me, I would say, you know, especially with that, that was right off the bat, and that definitely taught me how to kind of ha how to handle it. And I would say w the biggest change for me was allowing things to just be and not trying to control so much and say, you know what, 
I'm gonna do what I can do and I'm doing the best that I can. And I think that as moms, we have to really remind ourselves that we are doing the best that we can. And um, just really, every day is different. And if you have to fall off of your schedule, it's okay. Like, it's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. And, um, you know, that has helped me kind of just balance, you know, time with my baby boy, my husband, all of our animals and, you know, the house and everything else, traveling and everything else work-related. So, yeah, I don't think there's a specific percentage when it comes to balance.